Hello, I'm Dr. Chaos. Welcome back. Oh, actually, this is the first time we're playing Empires of the Underworld. This is a game I've watched some people play. Um, namely, game, a YouTuber known as the Gaming Beaver. And well, this game is technically an early access. So, yeah, let's start off with the tutorial. I've got objectives. So, one black hand. Nice in SP. Nest group seems to be basically just general group management. Go to build a tile out here. This work is going to collect an egg, which it then takes over to there before it hatches, and we get a new ant. Now we're going to collect another egg. The egg will only have to be soldier and dogs. Now, out of this one. Oh, I right click to film and marker. which it then carries food back. There's a food storage tile under the queen and, you know, storage ability and maximum capacity. No more space for food. So we're going to teach about food chamber tiles, which is basically here we okay yeah. food. Each of these tiles allows ten food, but you can upgrade that. Now, this game does have a campaign, and then also like just other missions. Hatch two more soldiers. Okay, I don't have enough food. Which will clear this chamber for. Mm. 
you can only send ants in locations that don't have any timber. Naturally. And here's a bunch of grubs, which is a bit of food each. Five each? Oh, no. Possibly. Okay, let's head on this way. Don't worry, the maps get a lot bigger on this. The battle has begun. Notification. Lava of Devil's Cut Horse will attack in some side. They do medium damage and bite fast. Be wise to take on groups of them only when you outnumber them and they cook provide 15 food. And now, work and tiles. Work and are cheaper than um, black hands. Try to keep some workers in the nest group so they're free to dig, build and transport eggs. This is the nest group. Soldiers can only fight and collect food. Here you have some more farming groups. You control each group independently. Press the button to prevent the ants from gathering food. It's usually best to leave it on. And this um, prevents the ants from attacking. Them. It's not a problem being that my mouse wheel is broken, a thing that is mentioned on multiple series. So Okay, there are way to So the Yeah, I probably don't need to get a new mouse, but uh. Leathers on the Steam Deck, if I had one. Oh, yeah, Arachnophobe mode. So, if you're scared of spiders, you can make it so they no longer have legs. They still like to put around, but yeah. So, the story the campaign takes place in the former Carrier, a hub world from which you can launch scenario missions. By completing these missions, you earn rewards to improve your former Carrier colony. Ooh. We 
We shall be the ants of chaos. What's the worst that can happen? Am I right? Welcome to the Fulton Cave. This is your hub from which you launch levels of good income. Okay. This has two types of resources which are not seen in other levels. Territory limit. Territory limits the number of tides in Northwest excavation. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It's it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Yeah. So this is our blue the territory is the digging and then jelly, which is adapted. You need space to grow. Dig, dig, dig. So yeah, from time to time notifications or tips will appear. Right click to remove it and disable that type of the level from the top of the box. To expand your colony, you're going to need space when no tool is. Yeah, you can dig with no. They're beginning to expand their territory. Excellent news. Basically, ants get food. The thing we can do, there's speed up, which basically runs um, faster, and upgrade, basically, if there's enough tiles in a range, you can upgrade the tiles. Build more workers, okay. Let's build the food storage down here. Idle worker can bring out some queen to brew tiles. Yeah. What over this in the tutorial? Apart from the fact we can't. Ooh. Now it's decided to scroll by using the mouse pad, but. Okay. Gonna build a bunch of food storage here. Nest design affect how current performs naturally. So ants receive the movement speed penalty when they walk on brood tiles. So building corridors and closed off rooms and for faster movement around the nest. Corridors can be improved with speed tiles to further increase movement efficiency. So what? Yeah, there's three tiles here. Could I think I might eventually? Mm. Can't collect any more food. Mm. Set this up. And, okay, so these two top left is level select, which basically available levels and the challenges. Okay, and going on about next week. Begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. Now we have another group of workers. 
could dig out to the surface. So what adaptions are these are boost to var the various ants. Leaf cutters, fire ants, wood ants, each of them do different things, have their specialties. Oh, oh, we let's get rid of that. So we can upgrade. Walls give one. Adjacent tiles of the same type generally give one. But upgraded and it will give more. And by doing this, as you can see, we just generally get more efficient. Should probably go to the level. Yeah, new home is recommended. But we have a lot of space for food, so yeah. From Camp Challenge 1, that's a gateway mission. Ah, the challenges are basically the... You can do this, you can move on to the next level. So let's do new home. So, Easium, which gets, so rewards which include a first time play bonus, uh, so you can do it more times for more bonuses. Let's go on Medium, and let's begin. So, as hard the form came, digging is free, there's no adaptions made. These levels are set up with units you can build, and tile upgrades are automatically unlocked, Beating these missions, your select rewards take you back to the cop. Okay. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority. Wood will not fight back and must kill the nest. The now is to find food, and there is plenty around. Each. But there yes, are other there hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Okay, and the goal of this mission is to eliminate all foes, potential and meal. Head on out over there to collect that food. I'll either set up, might set up a food storage there. Let's see what's that way. Mouse thing, the wood clubs. Let's head on out there. The food stores are full. So let's remedy that then. Let's upgrade these as well, just in case.
I've seen there's a lot of food around here. But there's also a lot of enemies. Black Iron Colony can produce soldiers. Combat units will not perform less jobs, but can pick up and harvest food. But, and they have more health and do more damage than just regular workers. Let's dig out a small area down here and put the black hats here into group 2. Once we get a few of them, we will open up the corridor here and enter this area. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipasolens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slice. Yeah, this is what we saw earlier for up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the answer disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Okay, let's head on out over here. Let's go and assist. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, bringing all the workers and soldiers down here. And as you can see, we are bringing back large quantities of food, what is moderate quantities of food. Expand the little area a bit. You have six of the same type or walls. It can be upgraded from the build menu, select upgrade tool, and you can see what tiles can be upgraded. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yep. So I assume that the way this log would work is like it's on the side, it's like the wall of the log. And, and yes, that's not the best way to describe it, but yeah.
Ah, that's excellent. I can use the number key to quickly swap between groups. Oh, soldiers must soldier. Oh, that's what I have. There are intruders in the nest. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Talk. Okay, yeah. Let's just deal with this group. Make my job a lot easier. Ah, yes. So this is they don't need that on all the time. And yeah, health and class features will be useful. Uh, yes, a large These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Yeah. Wood lice are thick armor and will take a while to kill them. They aren't the down ability, but can move increased defense, reducing physical damage. Let's kill them the harvest by one effort and time for a total of 14. upgrade these tiles to get better ants. Well yes it'll only come up. As a sign, the family moves can be told, yeah, can be told not to attack or gather. There's a lot of stuff. We're going to head out this way. automatically give boosts. That, that, I don't think it does. I think they'd have to die to do better in the boosts. Now they shall be collected and brought back to the nest. Going to cut a shortcut through, but I believe was sufficiently protected. I don't know about these tiles being upgraded. There are intruders in the nest. A bunch of this stuff is getting killed now. I 
this I want to finish that off. And I also do want to upgrade all of the stuff. Now let's go through this wall, we'll deal with this group, then head on over. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah. No idea what that number means. We'll be 72. 73. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. That is a lot of them, but should we have to deal with that? The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Yeah, and bringing all this food back will get us back on our feet and all the dead ants will be reborn. Presume there'd be a lot of wood lice up here. Has what five each? Yeah. So let's just go up to here with the speed tiles. Now, can I upgrade these? I could... Technically... I might have my entrance into up here, be from here. Let's upgrade a bunch of these tiles then. Hmm. 
let's cut through here now and hopefully get us some more food. There are intruders in the nest. on the way back. There are intruders in the nest. Yep. And let's continue the highway over this direction. Let's add some extra highways. I'm enjoying this quite a bit actually. Because of this, I can upgrade more tiles here. And let's make our way to here. There should be a bunch of grubs and also a bunch of enemies, which means even more food. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yep. And with that, let's just expand the nest a bit. Everyone's getting fed, then just a big group up here to deal with. It's judging how there's a few giant exclamation marks, I'm gonna have to say that some of the adult ones it said it mentioned not to mess with. Bringing food back. Yep, everyone grab has looted the place of food, so just gather up there. And 
and let's break there are the intruders yep. in the nest. I uh, big the big one has like spit attack or something along those lines. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. Yep. That's the beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ant. Yeah, fully grown devil's coach horse is aggressive, has large vocal, and a powerful but slow bite. If you periodically spray in front of it, which confuses ants hit by it, it take a large force to take down, but can be harvested by two ants for a total of a hundred. They do the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Can you just get the food, bring it back, please? Upgrading this may be too good an idea because we're basically at the end of the level, but I'll do it anyway. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Get off fighting with the workers, just grab, grab the food up here and head back. Grab as much as you can, please, because we are going to need all the ants we can get. Food back here by clear tiles. Yep. I just downgrades it. Okay. The queen is in imminent danger. Yep. is in imminent danger. Get the food, get the food, bring it back. Oh, no eggs off. The queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. Most young ant colonies will end this way. Just another meal for the creatures of the undergrowth. Well, 
that didn't end well. Still get to get some food and stuff. But I think I am gonna try that again. Oh, oh yeah. Resources gained from levels get dropped from the form carrium. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Anyway, I think that's going to be all for today. So... excavate that next time and attempt the first level again, this time ensuring that I don't get myself killed. And yeah, surface is wide open space that may have other creatures, colonies and hazards. Controlling the surface is very much the same as underground and assigned to a thermal marker or form a trail through the surface tunnel into the marker. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.